Good morning. This is what day it is. Today is International Philosophy Day, which means I pretty much have free reign to talk about whatever I want. And I think I'll keep it short, because we have a big week of holidays ahead of us. But today I want to talk about something we inevitably all experience. And that experience is disappointment. We all have ambitions and expectations out of life. If we didn't, life would be pretty damn boring. And hopefully we're all working pretty hard to meet those expectations, to be improving ourselves, to be improving our strategies, to meet our goals in life. This could be for a new job you're looking for, for a grant you really want to earn, for an organization you love, um, even for steps you want to make in bettering or uh, progressing a relationship you have. But sometimes our goals are too lofty. Sometimes we don't strategize in the most productive way or something unpredicted gets in the way of that strategy. And sometimes, goals and strategy aside, things just don't work out. They're beyond your control. And that heavy feeling you get, that disappointment, it can really bring your shoulders down. It can really fog your mind up a bit. Sometimes your first instinct is to yell or gripe or point fingers. And believe me, I understand all of that but it's just not productive. It's really easy to gripe and to mope, but moving on is really the best answer. What I tried to do, and uh, my mother taught this to me, and I don't always remember to do it, but when I have that feeling of disappointment, I try to just close my eyes and breathe in for 10 seconds. And if I have time, I'll do that for 10 or 20 minutes a day. And what that does for me is to kind of take my mind aside, put my mind in a different place for a second. And when I come back, I kind of have a better perspective on what's actually important. Most likely, you won't think about that disappointment. You'll think about the opposite, the fulfillment you've had in your life. Your loved ones, your accomplishments, perhaps your career, or perhaps just a string of acts of kindness you've done throughout your life. And also all the acts of kindness that have been done for you. So the next time you're disappointed, and you will be, just try to take a second out of your day to reorganize your thoughts and figure out what your priorities actually are. And I promise you that if I'm ever disappointed, I'll try to do the same. It's a long trail to where we're going, but it ain't going to be worth it unless we stop and notice the beauty along the path. Oh, this little guy? Yeah, um, this month I'm trying to raise some money for Movember for uh, prostate cancer and testicular cancer research. Um, so uh, if the viewers feel like giving some spare change, they can go to the link below and uh, donate to that cause. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Iggy. He's going to be around a bit.